Hey guys! Um, today is day two of contemporary a thon, and I actually got an early start today um, as opposed to yesterday. So far, today has been infinitely better. So, I'm currently reading Pride by Evie Zuboy, and I started reading it last night, and I'm about like, I want to say 10% into it. I didn't realize though that. It, it came out today. Today is the release date, so that's cool. In case you didn't watch my TBR or yesterday's video, Pride is a modern day, sorry my blinker's on. I'll turn that off for a second. Um, Pride is a modern day retelling of Pride and Prejudice with two black main characters. And it's really good so far. I'm totally getting all the Pride and Prejudice feels and I have high hopes. Okay, so I just saw that the audiobook for Pride was added onto Scribd, but fortunately Scribd has been super annoying lately and my account is like locked or I don't know none of the books are available for me until the 29th which is super annoying so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my free trial code to make a second account and get the free trial and listen to pride and then I'll just cancel that account because I really want to listen to the audiobook. There's like some other stuff I need to do today and I don't really have a lot of time to just sit down and like read. So I think I'm going to do that. Is that illegal? I don't know. Scribd is really frustrating me and I do want to talk about it for a second because I have promoted their service on my channel a lot. I mean, I've been using them for four years and I... I loved their service. I've been sponsored by them. I've had a free trial code in my description for like three years. I've just been like recommending this service for a really long time and the past couple months I don't know if they got really popular lately and they couldn't keep up with it or what but the past couple months it's been absolute garbage. Basically they say it's unlimited but after you listen to like two audiobooks everything else in the library becomes unavailable until your next renewal date. So basically you can only listen to two books. <laughs> I've emailed them like a million times trying to get answers like definitive answers of what the rules are and they're just so vague and wishy-washy and they're like oh it's the algorithm and and there's all these factors that play into it like that just really annoys me i completely understand from a business standpoint if it can't be unlimited but i just want them to say like these are the rules because having it be unlimited but blah 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 blah, blah doesn't work for me and i want to know like if i listen to these audiobooks will my account become locked? I just want to know what the rules are basically. So it's really frustrating. But yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see if this works and try to make a second account and listen to Pride. Okay, see this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if y'all can see it, but Pride is currently unavailable until 9-28, which is my renewal date, um, <laughs> which is just so annoying. So okay, I'm gonna log out of this account and see if I log into the new one that I just made, if Pride is available. And look at that. Shocker. It's available. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I'm glad that worked, but I'm also still really annoyed with Scribd. So I'm gonna go listen to Pride now, I guess. I also just want to make it clear that whenever I'm sponsored by something, it is because I genuinely like it or believe in it. And if something changes, like with Scribd, they need to be a lot clearer with their rules and their customer service. I said I've been getting emails back from them and they're really vague, but I've even heard from a lot of other people that they're just not even getting any information back. So their customer service right now is just really bad. And um, just because I was sponsored in the past and I've loved this company in the past doesn't mean I'm gonna let this go unnoticed and that I'm just gonna not talk about it. I know a lot of people have signed up for Scribd through my free trial. I can see how many people and it's a lot of people. If you're considering getting Scribd right now, I would maybe hold off until you hear that they fixed things because right now it's just a mess. So it's been a couple hours since I last checked in. It's now, I don't know if you can see that. It's 4.30 and I'm about a little over 50% into Pride and I'm still really liking it, but it's putting me in such a big mood to watch the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I love that web series so much. For those of you unfamiliar with the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, it's basically a web series on YouTube where Elizabeth Bennet has a video diary vlog channel basically. <laughs> and it's 
so good and I haven't watched it in a couple years I used to watch it once a year since it's come out but I haven't seen it in a while so <laughs> maybe after I finish pride I'm gonna watch it again I don't know but that is like a big commitment because it would take a lot of time and I don't know if I have time for that right now but I did get a package in the mail because would this be a vlog without a random unboxing and this is from Scholastic I don't know what it is because I got a package from Scholastic a couple weeks ago and it had City of Ghosts in it, which is a book that I requested from them. But I don't, I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I just recently saw this book. So it is Imposters by Scott Westerfeld. I have absolutely no idea what this is about. I've never read anything by Scott Westerfeld, by the way. Um, I know he has that really popular series called Uglies. I always wanted to read that book when I was in like elementary school, but it was always, the whole series was always checked out from my school library, so I never got to read it, and then I kind of lost interest in it, I guess. Okay, let's see, what is this about? Oh, it's a spinoff to Uglies. Okay. Oh, this sounds cool. It's about these twin sisters, but they're not actually twins. One of them is a body double. And so the body double was basically raised for the purpose of protecting her sister. That sounds good. Okay, I need to look into this to find out if I need to read the Ugly series before this because this actually sounds really good. I don't even really know what the Ugly series is about. Is it something that I should be interested in? I don't know. You guys let me know if you've read the Ugly series, if it's something... I should read because I have no idea. He has his tour on the back and I just saw he's going to be at the, the Texas Teen Book Festival, which I will be attending. So I definitely think I can finish Pride tonight. Like I said, it's only around 4.30 and I am about halfway through and the audiobook isn't long. It's like si it's six hours and eight minutes. So I have about math. Let's see. I have about three hours left, but I'm listening to it on two speed. So one hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, also, I remember something I wanted to talk about. Last night, I watched the second episode of You, which is the show on Lifetime that was adapted from, I have it right here, You by Caroline Kepnes, which is my, one of my all-time favorite books and definitely my favorite thriller. And I watched the second episode last night and this show is just so good. It's a really great adaptation. Like, it's exactly how I pictured the book, and they were able to capture the the main character's voice really well. Let me know in the comments if you guys are watching that show and what you think of it, because I'm really loving it. So it is now the end of day two and I finished Pride and I really liked it. I ended up giving it four stars. I think as far as Pride and Prejudice retellings that I've read, this was one of the better ones. Like I've said before, it is a modern day Pride and Prejudice. It takes place in Brooklyn and it follows Zuri, who is the Elizabeth Bennet and Darius, who is Darcy. Zuri is really worried about the gentrification that is happening in her neighborhood, and the house across the street gets completely renovated, and this new, very rich family moves in, and it is Darius, Darcy, and she just immediately hates them and is upset and thinks they're ruining her neighborhood. Zuri is really proud of where she comes from and her Afro-Latinx heritage. I believe she's half Haitian, half Dominican. And she is also a poet, so um, there were parts in the book where we're actually reading her poems and it's basically her like feelings about the situations that are going on, which I really liked those. And overall, I thought this was a really good retelling. Obviously, since it is a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, the romance was really important and I really liked it. Darius and Zuri really <laughs> did not like each other at the beginning, obviously, but seeing them slowly start to like 
develop feelings was really cute and I really enjoyed this so like I said I gave this four out of five stars and so now I've completed two challenges yesterday I completed the challenge of reading a book with orange on the cover and then today I completed the challenge of reading a diverse contemporary so I'm on track. I think I'll be able to read everything on my TBR and complete all the challenges. So far, so good. That is going to be it for day two. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.